excuse me, so I've already gone into sketch mode and these are the constraints up here. I'll just uh, highlight them for you. It's from there through to there. And we'll go through them one at a time. So the first thing we're going to look at is when I get rid of that box, we'll look at what we call the horizontal and vertical. So if we have a line, and these are fairly straightforward, so we'll, we'll make that one line, um, and then we've got the other line down here. Now, the only use of this that I can see is to get lines perfectly horizontal or vertical. Uh, you draw it, and it might be a long line, and you want to make sure that it is spot on. Then, really, it's just a question of highlighting the line, and click in the horizontal vertical tab up here and that line will go horizontal now if I click on that one that goes vertical the reason for that is that the line will go horizontal or vertical whichever is closest to its alignment so if I was to draw a line say like so and let's say I draw a second one which is past the 45 mark there then that one on that tab will go vertical and it goes vertical from the point you draw it from if you notice let me just go back from there I drew it the one way and then you go vertical and then the same with this one if I click on that one because it's nearer horizontal and vertical it will drop horizontal so that's the horizontal and vertical command.